Why, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. It's good to be back, and today I think we're going to go caving a little bit. We need to get some diamonds, and I hope you guys are, are looking forward to it. I know that caving is usually not the most fun thing, um, but it is something that we need to do. We need to find some more diamonds so we, so we can get enchanting going, so we can get some more armor and some good stuff like that, uh, some pickaxes, all that. So uh, that's why the episode is starting out at nighttime, because it doesn't really matter. Uh, what time of day it is we uh, we can just head on down into the mines and then I will get a hold of you guys when I run into a new cave system all right everybody and we are back as you can see uh, I think I found a new cave but it is a little bit of a walk and I wanted to show you guys exactly how long of a walk it was just so you get in perspective how, how, how far I had to dig for it you will see about halfway that there is like another little cave thing it was because I dug out a ton of the dirt to find some resources I did get all the resources in the walk by the way yeah I will uh, see you guys when we get to the other side And uh, there we go. As you can see, it wasn't too bad, but it's still a little bit of a walk. Let's go ahead and start lighting up this place. Uh, as you can see, I don't know how long this goes, but it looks like it will be pretty fun to explore. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to pick up all the resources that we find, because I think that's pretty important right now. I'd rather have too many resources than not enough resources. Okay, let's go ahead and... Should we get rid of the lava? Yeah, I mean, we don't really have a use for it right now. So let's go ahead and cover that up. That's why we always bring the bucket of water. Never forget your bucket of water. That's probably one of the most important things that I bring mining with me that a lot of people forget. Oh, wow, this is a lot. Oh, as you can see, uh, my swords are actually getting low, and I wanted to show this. Remember, you can put them together, and you get a 5% uh, increase. So 31 plus 170 is 201. But uh, with the 5% increase, you get an extra 12 uses out of it. So that's pretty awesome. Don't forget about that. Okay, and I know we have a lot of coal, but I'm going to continue to dig this stuff up just because um, it can lead to more, to more, like, different resources, uh, like the diamond and stuff like that. And, uh... Or, see, like, even that even that iron we would not have found if we had not dug up this coal. And it's like, you get a reward for it. You get level plus, um, plus whatever it drops. So, I think it, it's worth it to just dig it up. At least for right now, while we're in real search for diamonds. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get on up here. Whoa. Some more lapis? Awesome. Whoa. Come on, don't tell me the sentence, please. Okay, so as you can see, I found some lapis earlier as well, which is really important because now lapis in 1.8 is used in enchanting. I know I've probably said that a thousand times, but it's still just as true as the first time I've ever said it. Okay, now that I have all the lava covered up, we're going to try to expand, actually. Okay, hear that noise? That means that there's something here that is dark, but I, it might have been just that this room was already dark, and so it was telling us that we were in this room, I guess. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to push out a few different ways and see if we can't find anything. Good thing we brought some more picks. Like that. See? That's a whole area down there. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so what we're going to try to do is we're just going to keep moving this way. And that's like a trick you can learn because the lava pouches sometimes lead to other, other cave systems, which is pretty awesome. It's, it helps quite a bit. Let's go ahead and light this place up. You know what we should do? We should probably mark our exit. Um, we'll mark the exit over here first, just so we know. We just put a ton of torches down right by each other, and, and people will know, or will know that uh, that's the way you get out. And then we come all the way over here, and we can just boom, 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 just so we don't forget. I know it's a very small cave system, but you can never be too safe, I figure. We're also going to go ahead and, and mine this coal here. Remember, you guys, don't forget to check ceilings. I haven't been looking up lately, so let's just run back through here looking up, actually. Because ceilings uh, hold just as much stuff as floors, you know? And we'll search this cave area, I guess. Looks like it goes up quite a bit, which is a problem, because we need to stay down low for the diamonds. But we will still make our way through here. Let's go ahead and clear out a little walkway here. This is very cool, though. Dropped uh, a dropped patch right there. That's pretty awesome. Hey, a bat. Hello, Mr. Bat. How are you? Okay, we have some iron here. Ooh, and some lapis. Awesome. Okay, we have a ton of lapis now, which is really a valuable resource to us. Um, let's go ahead and clear out some of this 
gravel actually and see if we can't find something down here because sometimes gravel can cover up exactly what you're looking for and you get, if you guys don't remember the gravel trick you punch out the gravel you place a torch and it breaks the other ones okay it doesn't look like there's anything there but we'll keep looking okay that's about it uh, I'm not gonna clear out that whole area though okay so what's gonna happen is I think we're gonna go back to the surface um, because this looks like it has dead ended and we we may look into another cave system maybe go for a little walk um, I know this is our cave system but it may just be more valuable to us to just completely get into fresh new area instead of having to dig and dig and dig uh, and maybe we can find some new cool stuff so I'll, I'll be back with you guys when I find something like that okay before I went out and adventured I figured I'd show you guys exactly how well we did with the resource hunt we got a ton more redstone we might have to make a redstone chest now and uh, we got quite a bit of lapis now so i don't think we need to worry about enchanting which is absolutely awesome we also refilled our coal supply which is super cool um yeah okay on my adventure out as you can see I, I built a little totem pole but that is the way home so i i know that that is close to home because it's such a weird object but that totem pole may just be uh in the render distance when that is not so I figured I'd play it safe and do that. Now you can see it is falling to nighttime, and we have some bunnies over here, so I'm a little bit afraid because the white ones can be pretty mean if they have red eye red eyes. What color is size? You know, what? we're just gonna yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna walk away because I'm not scared. I thought maybe he was following me. I thought I heard something. Okay. I will, uh, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll continue my little adventure here. Hopefully no problems. <gasps> chickens. We're good. It's just chickens. We're, don't even worry about it. It's just chickens. We'll pick up their eggs and then we, we can try to start a chicken farm with their eggs. There are a lot of chickens over here. Holy crap. Maybe we'll just lure some back to our house. Like I said, I'll be back when I find something cool. Hello? Hi! No, I'm not even here. Don't even try. Where is he? Is he right below me? Hup. No, no, no! What? I wasn't even close enough to him! Ah! Oh, he was a temperamental one. This is so cool. But so scary. Okay. I just ran over here, and that is a red-eyed bunny, just a heads up. I'll just let him walk away. No, you know what? I think we can take him. He had red eyes. I'm going to see what he wants. We got him! And we got one of our first drops of this. This is actually rab Raw Rabbit. Uh, I will go ahead and show you guys what we can do with that if we make it back to the house alive eventually. I was like, what is that red thing up in the tree? Turns out just a spider. We're going to walk away from that guy. Oh, hi. More spiders. Good. The spiders aren't super scary. There are a lot of mobs now. And I thought for sure we'd run into a cave by now. But apparently not. But I'm going to keep fighting and keep looking. Oh, wait, was this a cave that I just jumped over? It was. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we're going to go down this cave. Uh, just to be safe, uh, let's go ahead and light this up. And what we'll do is we'll, uh, we're will we going to go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, oh, that was a bad choice. Dang it. Because, oh, wait, what if we just do that? Now, we're going to wait one way in, one way out. So we'll know exactly which one they're going to come through. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this water. You can do it by placing down water, picking up water there if you want. You see? Look. This is why we do this. And then, see, just funnels through there. And boom, you're dead. Okay, let's keep looking in this cave system. A lot of, a lot of mean guys outside. You can hear them still. Are you serious? Oh, this is a bummer. Well, what we're going to do is we're just going to pick them up then. Hmm. I don't need your cave. See, look, and then they just funnel in. And we can take them down one at a time. I wish there was a better use for zombie flesh and uh, vanilla, but there really isn't. 
right now. I will just leave that wood. Uh, uh, yeah, because then we'll know we've been there. We'll be like, oh, we've been there. Okay, now what? Okay, so home is that way. So why don't we head back that way, but we'll take a different route. Because home's like that way, so we're going to go this way and like around that way. You got it? This, that, and that, that, and this. It's, it's super simple if you think about it. I know that my words were very confusing right there. Um, that's why I said it like that. Let's go ahead and keep trying to find something. Oh, there's a skeleton right here. Nobody here. I thought we could juke him by having him try to go around that way. Oh, we got a potato! So, if you guys don't know, in vanilla, you can actually get a, um, a zombie to drop potatoes as well. So, you don't need to find a village. So, had we not found the village last episode, we would have needed to, uh, or we, we could have just killed that zombie and gotten our first potato and then planted it and harvested it uh, continuously until we had a full potato farm so if you guys didn't know that, it's a very very cool thing just like they drop iron bars um, as well we're gonna go over into this plains area if you can tell that's where I'm headed um, we're just gonna come up around here and and we're gonna we're gonna take a look for some holes in the ground see if we can't go ahead and dive in so many chickens get out of here Oh, just some skeletons with some arrows. No problem. Okay. So let's just keep... Let's run ahead and let's run past some... Oh, hey, a witch! There's a witch over there on the left. Um, I say we try to kill her. Oh, we got her before she could get us anything. I think we just got glowstone from her. Sometimes they drop some pretty cool stuff. But apparently not, not this time. Double creeper! No, 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 no. Ha, ha, ha. Oh. I thought one was going to kill the other one, but it didn't work out that way. There are a lot of mobs out tonight, huh? I guess it's a good thing. We haven't really run into any mobs in uh, in this series. Where we had to worry too much. So it's nice to, to see them. There are so Why are there so many creepers right here? Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Okay, now, so that is the way home. Where, where, did I, where did I just get shot from? Oh, that was amazing. Okay, so that way's home because it's through the jungle and then the jungle's home. Uh, so we're going to keep adventuring this way a little bit. Rawr. And we're going to see if we can't we can't find something. Seems to be something lit up over here. I bet it's, it's uh, probably a lava pool. Let's go ahead and swim this actually. And we'll eat on our way over. Oh, and daytime seems to be coming upon us very, very slowly here. So I think we'll just stay out for the night and keep looking. Looks like this is a swamp biome, judging by the trees in it. And then obviously we're in the plains biome right now. So, okay, so I see some bad mobs, but I see an enderman over here. And we're going to try to kill the enderman so that we can get his pearls. Because every pearl counts when it comes to enderman. Oh, and he led us to a sweet cave system. You're the best. I got him, I got him. No, 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 no. Why are there so many... Why are there so many skeletons? Get out of here. Ah. We got him. Okay, it's cool. Oh, Enderman did drop an Ender Pearl. Sweet. And, of course, we... um. Oh, sweet. Okay, so this is where they burn alive. Obviously, they carry some cool shovels and stuff. But you can see, uh, I think this might be the first time where it's daytime and they burn alive just because of the natural time of things you can see that guy burning down over there in the distance uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to set up a pillar a very unnatural pillar right here and what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and like that you see and see now we know that's very unnatural and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table Put a couple of these guys in there, and then what we'll do is we'll, boom, and we'll just place the things that are not super essential to this trip down, because we're going down in the cave, uh, up into this right now. You see what I mean? Okay, so let's go ahead and explore this uh, cave down here. Holy crap, it's huge. Awesome. It's a good thing we have a compass to get home. 
Let's go ahead and just light this place up real quick so that we don't get wrecked. Ooh, that is so cool. Oh, man, this is so awesome. Oh. Okay, so what we're going to have to do, you guys, is we're going to have to end the episode here. I'm so sorry, but we did do a lot of work today already, and uh, I think this delving will be great for the next episode. Um, if you guys enjoyed the episode, please hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you guys want to see something new or you want to see something else, please don't be afraid to let me know in the comment section below or if you have any critiques or anything like that. Don't be afraid to say something because I am open to new ideas all the time. Uh, I will see you guys later and you have a great day.